Hi students! So you're about to read your first text here in this course. So what do we need in order to read a text efficiently and effectively? So just to illustrate this, I've given you one example from the text that you are going to read in this course and I want to show you two things that are important. So the first thing is context. And the second thing is background knowledge. These two concepts or these two things help you a lot in your reading comprehension, in understanding a written text. So let's read this first sentence from a text. It says, people in ancient history used bones, pebbles and beads, possibly arranged on sticks to calculate. So words that I'm pretty sure you know are people, history, calculate, also sticks and bones. So this word is okay, we know it, we know this one, we know this one, we know this and this, possibly also this and this. And of course you know these little words in between, okay? We do not need to talk about them, we ignore them here. Now what do we need to do when we don't know the remaining words? For example, pebbles and beads. What most students do is they grab their dictionary, they grab their smartphone to look up the word. This is something you can do, but it's not the best idea at the start. So the first thing is context. When we have context here, uh, okay, people calculated. So we have these two words. We have the word calculate and we have the word people and we have bones. So they calculated with bones. This means they have these tiny little bones there and out of these bones, they made a little chain to calculate. For example, a system of five. Okay, so from background knowledge, we can just imagine that pebbles and beads are similar to bones, which means tiny little things that they used. So we do not need to look up the words, okay, because it interrupts our reading process and it's not very active if we continue looking up words. So it makes sense to really activate our brain to look at context. The next thing is background knowledge. Okay, so you know the topic is about calculators and the development of certain calculators. You know that after you've read the text or after you've started reading the text because it was the headline. So what we have here is just the first step in order to develop a numerical system for a calculator. And so we do not need to look up words because from context and from our background knowledge, we understand what it is about. So I would encourage you to just use a dictionary when it's absolutely necessary because you're lost and you don't understand a single word without the help of a dictionary. Please try this in your reading.